Alrighty, we have an awesome construction update for you guys out of Bush Gardens, Tampa from Etai Coaster Fanatic. Huge thank you to him. I'm gonna link his YouTube channel down below. Go subscribe to him. Um, he's got some awesome videos on Bush Gardens Orlando Parks. Um, and he also reacts to some top 10 lists. So if you're in for some humor, definitely go check him out. But anyways, to Guazi. So as you can see, one of the lift hills has been removed or half removed from what I'm hearing. And the other has not been touched yet. Um, I'm also hearing nothing in the station area has been touched as well. Um, but there's definitely a ton of track removal going on. It looks like, and um, I'm not gonna say for sure, because again, this isn't my home park. I'm not there, I'm not watching in detail, but it seems like they're removing one half of the coaster currently. Um, and the other half is staying untouched. That's what it looks like to me. I'm also hearing rumors that the crane that is building Tigris um, is gonna head on over to Gwazi and help build that. That is a 300 and something foot tall crane. My knowledge of Yukon Striker is they only bring in cranes um, with a certain height that can build the ride. Um, so I'm definitely starting to believe that the rumors of it being taller than Seal Vengeance might be true. But again, I don't know, have any inside information on this coaster, so please take that with a grain of salt. But from what I'm seeing, from what I'm expecting, um, the park's been doing well. Bush Entertainment, SeaWorld Entertainment, they've all been doing really well. So they have a lot of money to play with. Um, so as you can see here, this one lift hill is untouched but the lift hill in the distance has been three quarters removed. Um, and as you see right there, the structure kind of removed. Um, so that's really cool to see. Finally seeing action at Guazi is awesome. Lots of people covering this. Um, I definitely suggest checking out Midway Mayhem. He's got really up-to-date updates on the coaster as well. Um, again, nothing going on in the station area. Um, for Guazi, there are yellow um, construction tape markers on some of the wood, um, even on the side that hasn't been touched yet. So I'm not sure what that means at the moment, but in other exciting news, Tigress is uh, complete. Um, I, I don't know if it's Tigress or Tigress. I always mispronounce things when it's not my home park. I apologize for anyone um, or if I'm upsetting anyone, just correct me down below. Feel free to correct me in any videos I do, but it's super exciting. It looks stunning. It looks a lot better than I was expecting. I, again, I've said this in previous videos. I absolutely love the colors. And for some reason in the skyline, it really suits it. I love how the park was even lighting it up during construction. It allowed for some really beautiful photos and uh, it's gonna look awesome. I know that Bush Gardens is gonna like push it over the top with theme. I can tell that by the fact that they were just lighting it up at night. Um, so with the lighting shining on it, it really makes it stunning. I don't know why, I'm just in love with it. Y'all can drag me in the comments down below, but this is definitely probably one of the prettiest ones I've seen so far. Again, I don't know all of them at all parks, but so far from the ones I've seen, this is the most pretty. Um, anyways, hopefully you guys really enjoyed this construction update out of Bush Gardens Tampa on Guazi and Tigris. Um, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to watch. Have a good one, guys. Bye.